Are you ready to go live with me today with Ronnie Kendrick? Oh my goodness, you guys are in for a treat today. I'm Angela Brown and I'm here at Ask a House Cleaner. Now, you guys may not know this, but Ronnie has been quoted in Bob Vila. And he is really famous now in the cleaning industry. And there are some real leaders and power hitters in the industry that are coming to Ronnie going, tell us your secrets. So today we're going to throw a whole bunch of stuff at Ronnie. And I want you to throw stuff at him as well. We're going to debunk a whole bunch of myths. So I put together my thinking cap. And I said, okay, here's a bunch of myths that come at me all the time. And I want you guys to throw some myths at Ronnie as well. And he's going to tell us, are these myths true or are they false? So as we play along today, I'm going to ask you guys to stay close to your computers, stay close to your phones. And once we ask a question, because I'm going to throw it up on the screen, I'm going to see if you guys can answer it more quickly and accurately than Ronnie can. All right. So please help me welcome Ronnie Kendrick. Ronnie, how are you today? I'm doing fabulous. Thank you so much for having me on the show, Angela. And I can't wait to get these questions thrown at me and see how much the audience can beat me on. <laughs> I love that. All right. So our first question is, how can do-it-yourself house cleaners distinguish between trendy cleaning tips and those that genuinely work? Well, not to toot your horn, Angela, but one of the ways that I did it was whenever I would see things on TikTok that seemed a little too good to be true, I found your YouTube channel and I've stolen, repurposed, however you want to put it, a lot of your good cleaning tips for my blog and for my customers. But really what that comes down to is just looking for authority, right? Like go to people who have been in the game for a while don't just find someone on TikTok who has like a million views and think, okay, this is the latest and greatest thing. I'm going to go pour bleach down my sink and maybe release chemicals that shouldn't happen or destroy all the piping. So yeah, really just go back to, again, Bob Vila, Women World, First for Women, Apartment Therapy. There's a lot of great resources out there. So don't just rely on the latest YouTube or TikTok cleaning hack. All right. Well, I don't have a printout for this one, so I'm just going to throw this myth at you. Are you saying to me that if I am watching a YouTube video and somebody pours in cleanser and then dishwashing soap and then toilet bowl cleaner, and then they throw in some fabuloso and a whole bunch of other things inside the toilet, and there are like 30 cleaning chemicals inside the mm -hmm. toilet, that that makes the toilet cleaner, right? True or false? That is absolutely false. And that can be a good way to kill yourself sometimes. So don't just pour random chemicals in your toilet because TikTok says so. I know exactly what video you're talking about. It looks like a pretty rainbow around the toilet bowl and it's got the nice little scrub daddy in it and everyone loves it. Don't do that. It's really, really bad for the environment too. So he's correct. Absolutely correct. Let's give Ronnie a, oh, you know, we can give Ronnie, we can give Ronnie a happy bell for accuracy. So this <laughs> is our happy bell. Happy bell for Ronnie for getting that one correct. I love this. This is so much fun. All right. So the next one, once I clean the rubber seal inside the front load washing machine, I never have to clean it again. True or false? That is false. What in your cleaning life do you only clean once and you're like, I'm good to go. I never have to do this again. That'd be great, wouldn't it? But no, that's absolutely false. You need to be cleaning that on a regular schedule. All right. I love this. This is so much fun. Okay, cool. All right. Next one. If I use a disinfecting cleaning solution when I clean, I've disinfected it. True or false? So that is false to an extent, right? Like you have to think about dwelling time. You can't just spray and then wipe away. I see this so often with like our house cleaning customers or just whenever I go to a friend's house after a party and they're cleaning up and they just spray, spray, clean, clean. You got to let it sit. You got to let it do its thing. That's what disinfecting is all about. Look at the back of the cleaning bottle and it'll tell you exactly how long you need to wait before it actually does its magic. So cleaning can be instant. You can spray, wipe, clean. Dust is gone. That's great. But if there's salmonella, maybe even the flu virus. Yeah, you got to actually let that stuff sit for a couple of minutes before it actually kills whatever germs or bacteria you're looking to get rid of. So if I use a disinfecting cleaning solution, when I clean, I've disinfected it. You are 100% correct. It just spraying in, wiping it does not disinfect. So here's another happy bell. You guys are on a roll here. You're doing amazing. Now, Kathy says, oh, check it out. Kathy says, Cavicide takes two minutes to work. Used it in many dental practices. 
whoa, right? We're learning all kinds of stuff here today. This is so much fun. All right. And I'm glad that we brought this up because during the pandemic, and I want to stop for just a second, during the pandemic, I started getting a whole bunch of phone calls from all around the world. And there were people that were calling me saying, hey, I'm a church. And because of the pandemic, we got to bleach everything, right? And so they were trying to disinfect things and they had cleaners coming in, spraying bleach on the pews of the church. So we're talking about fabrics, like these posh fabrics that people sit on. They were spraying yeah. wood, the <laughs> prayer benches where you kneel. And the churches are like, our pews are ruined. Our benches are ruined. That We've got stains all over. Our wood is warped. Like, is it disinfected? I'm like, well, wait a second. <laughs> Just because... There is a pandemic that doesn't change the chemical nature of the bleach, right? Mm -hmm. There's still bleach. And so you still have to follow the rules of the chemicals, even if there's a pandemic. So yeah. that was eye-opening. And that's when the whole world kind of came aware to bleaching, sanitizing, and cleaning and all the things, right? That's another great point of whenever you get cleaners why they need to be insured and bonded. Because if you're just getting some folks off of Facebook and they're coming over and they're bleaching things, messing up the color, messing up the wood, you want to make sure that they are going to be responsible and pay for that. And that this church, I mean, like, look, if they're doing a hundred pews, they might be out a hundred thousand dollars. So definitely do uh, your due diligence on any cleaning company that you hire and make sure that if there's an accident, they're going to be able to pay for it. All right. So that's it for today. Guys, I'm so glad you joined me. This was so much fun. I just had so much fun with Rodney here. Rodney, tell our listeners and our viewers where they can go to find you. So if you happen to be in the Denver area, the South side specifically, look up Company Clean. We're a professional house cleaning company in that area doing basic cleanings, deep clean, move in, move out. But again, what we've talked about here is really trying to find what problem are we solving for you? So we want to give you that personal touch. But hey, I love talking about cleaning and business aspects too. So find me on Facebook where I talk about our cleaning tips, facebook.com slash company clean co. And then you can also find me on LinkedIn where I talk about the business aspect of house cleaning at linkedin.com slash in slash Ronnie Kendrick company clean.